Hello, this is a short review of VSL's Synchron Bussendorfer 280 VC. Of course, it's sampled from a Bussendorfer 280 Vienna Concert Grand Piano. And Bussendorfer actually on their website calls this piano the next generation because it's quote unquote reimagined from scratch. So evidently there's some qualities to this piano that distinguish it from some of their other offerings like their Bussendorfer Imperial Grand which up until recently was my favorite VSL sampled library to play. What I'm going to do is play a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like with the microphone selection that I've chosen, and then I'll try to briefly articulate what I think some of the characteristics are that make this piano distinguishable. And if you continue watching to the end, I will tell you why this has become my favorite piano to play. I chose that arrangement because of its intimate, melodic nature. You can really hear how the individual melody notes want to stand out throughout all the registers. And I think this is one of those unique characteristics that Bussendorfer was talking about. On their website, they have a poetic phrase to describe it as, quote, a sound as clear as diamonds, yet playfully gleaming like the beaming sparkles of light. Now, to me, that just sounds like a fancy way of saying it, that it has a brighter sound. And to my ears, it does when I compare it to the Bussendorfer Imperial Grand, which was also sampled by VSL. The Bussendorfer Imperial Grand is a bit darker in its tone and, and more mellow. I would describe the Bussendorfer Imperial Grand as like vanilla ice cream. It's good and it goes with a lot of things. But if the Bussendorfer Imperial Grand is vanilla ice cream, then the Bussendorfer 280 VC is French vanilla. It really has an added ingredient to it, and it achieves this brighter sound without being cold or metallic in nature, and I think that's a beautiful thing. I think VSL did a really good job of capturing this bright, warm tonal quality of the 280 VC. Now, another I think anyways, distinguishable characteristic is that it sounds good playing louder, busier chording type pieces. And I'll explain that in just a moment. But for example, here's a short excerpt from a song that is a bit more rambunctious in its arrangement.
Normally that's a song I would play on my VI Labs Modern U Upright, which has a tighter and naturally less resonant sound. Songs like this on big concert grands have a tendency to sound a little cluttered and washed out with the ambient reverb that sometimes is introduced when they sample the piano. The fact that the 280VC can handle it quite nicely, I think, is a testament to VSL's sampling process, which took place in Synchron Stage B. From what I understand, Synchron Stage B is smaller than Synchron Stage A, where a number of their other concert grand pianos are sampled. I think with the smaller stage coupled with a few mics and no added reverb, you can get a very tight sound with this large concert grand piano, and that's a wonderful thing. Let me talk briefly about my settings. Uh, currently, I'm just using two mic options, the condenser mic and the mid-2 mic. No reverb, uh, no delay. I found that if you start adding more mics to this particular sample library, while you might get a fuller and bigger sound, it seems to diminish the unique quality of the individual notes and their clarity and the way that they want to resonate and sing. You kind of lose that, uh, as Bussendorfer would call it, that gleaming, beaming sparkles of light. So this piano is pretty ready to roll right out of the box, so to speak. Uh, the only other thing I had to do was just reduce some of the volume on uh, the last three octaves. It, to my ears, it sounded a little bit loud and perhaps a bit uneven uh, compared to some of the lower registers. And that, that could simply be because I've been using the Bussendorfer Imperial now since it came out. And that is a, a mellower tone with a definitely a, much, a very even distribution across the keyboard. But thankfully, VSL makes it very easy to tone, to sculpt, I should say, the sample to your preference, whatever you like. All you have to do is go into the uh, edit window here, and you can pick single keys or a block of keys. And what I've done is simply in the last three octaves, I've tiered down the volume. I went from, I went from minus one on this third to last octave to minus one, two, five on the second to last octave, and then finally minus 1.5 on the very last octave. And that kind of, I think, took the edge off. It's a very subtle difference, but it, to me, it, in my ears, it took the edge off a little bit and made it a bit more smooth. I also noticed that there were a few notes in this upper registry register that seemed to be too piercing to my ears. And one, once again, the wonderful thing about this user-friendly interface is that you can go and pick out whatever note it is that you find egregious, and you can click on it, and it'll give you the exact frequency of that note. And then you could adjust the gain up and down. And for example, in this instance, I, I lowered the gain a little bit on that note and a few other notes in that area as well. You can also adjust the Q parameter, which is going to either widen or narrow the uh, field that uh, uh, the field that is affected, the frequency field that is affected by that gain adjustment. So it really is easy to sculpt this sound however you like. And if you if you like the overall tone of the piano, it's easy to kind of shape it uh, to to make it really uh, to your preference. And I think those adjustments have made playing up in the higher register a bit e more comfortable for me. And it, I think the transition from the upper to the lower registers sound very smooth now. Here's an example, a short excerpt from an arrangement where you'll hear, I think, the tonal spectrum from high, higher register down to the low. And I want you to listen to how nicely it seems to want to transition all the way through the entire tonal and dynamic spectrum.
Can you hear how nicely this piano transitions through both the tonal and dynamic spectrums? It can be bold and powerful, but it also wants to play softly with what I like to call a quiet pride. Notice this passage and how it resolves. Hear how those notes just want to stand out. That's why this has become my favorite piano to play. It has beauty and brightness, I think, with the soft, intimate music, and it can handle the louder, busier courting songs as well. And there is wonderful expression throughout the entire dynamic range. Again, VSL has given us a great product that will add variety to our sound. And I think this can be used by the professional all the way down to the lowly amateur such as myself. Really what it comes down to is what inspires us and what stimulates our musical creativity and adds to the enjoyment of our experience. This new 280 VC by VSL does that for me. Hopefully you'll find something that inspires you in your pursuit to make music with beauty, power, and pathos. Thank you for joining me for this review, and God bless.